Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. And now here's a look at today's top stories. One man is locked up, another in the hospital after a violent home invasion in Akron. I was extremely frightened for my life. We spoke with 67 year old Dan Lemons by phone from his hospital bed after a stranger broke into his home early Sunday morning. Dan says the intruder demanded money and stole cash and credit cards, but not before repeatedly beating him, even knocking him unconscious for a few minutes. Turns out police were already looking for his accused attacker. Our detectives were very um, pleased with, to be able to capture him because he was also tied to an uh, investigation earlier this year. The suspect you see here, 45 year old Donovan Fikes, is also a suspect in a violent robbery in downtown Akron in January. He was arrested just a few hours after this weekend's attack. Ten years after he was convicted and sent to federal prison in the Cuyahoga County Corruption Probe, former County Commissioner Jimmy DeMora could soon be a free man. Two bribery charges in his case were thrown out, opening the door for DeMora to be resentenced in June. He was originally sentenced to 28 years behind bars for accepting dozens of bribes, but could now be released earlier. It has been two years since the COVID-19 pandemic first impacted Northeast Ohio, and in those two years, more than 37,000 Ohioans have died from uh, virus-related issues. So tomorrow, the city of Cleveland is taking time to honor those we have lost to the virus with the Day of Remembrance and Resilience. It will also pay tribute to the first responders and essential workers who have been on the front lines. You can find more details on the News 5 app. Cleveland Restaurant Week, week kicks off today, and this, week, this year's event comes amid promising signs from the restaurant industry, but many are still recovering from two difficult years caused by the pandemic. Industry leaders say more federal support is needed to help protect restaurants from shutting their doors for good. They're still sitting on all this debt and you know, all these bills. And it's interesting, you walk into a restaurant, if you just go out to restaurants Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you say, wow, they're busy, everything's good. It's just not true, right? You go back into restaurants Monday, Tuesdays, a lot of them are closed. Cleveland Restaurant Week runs through March 25th. Here's Mark. All right, you enjoy this warm weather Monday. It's going to be a milder overnight, a low near 40, a few scattered clouds, not as cold, and we will be dry. Now, Tuesday, there's a slim chance for a rain shower. We should be able to get you back into the 50s, depending on how far south the little front arrives, and then 60s near 70 Thursday. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.